At some point, you'll probably want to stitch a design larger than your machine's sewable field. Hatch Embroidery has tools that can split a design into multiple hoopings for you. I'm Linda Goodall, and in this video, we'll take a look at the multi-hooping toolbox and split this design for sewing. I've opened this design from the Hatch Library, and the hoop I have displayed is the 100 by 100 millimeter hoop, commonly called the 4 by 4 hoop. While this is an EMB file and I can shrink it and still have all the stitches recalculate, we're likely going to lose some design fidelity if we shrink it that much. If we want to stitch in a small hoop, then we need to split it up. Fortunately, Hatch can figure out how to split the design so it can be sewn at this size with multiple hoopings. Before we split the design, let's take a quick look at the colors in the sequence docker. This design has 16 colors and there are no repeats. On some designs with repeated colors, you may get fewer hoopings if you optimize color changes. We won't be able to optimize this design any further because it's already optimized as much as possible. So start by going to the multi-hooping toolbox and we'll make sure that we have a hoop selected. Now I already have my 100 by 100 hoop selected, but if you want to use a different hoop, you can pick it here and I'll click OK. The areas in green are the objects that can be stitched in this hoop. Notice that there are also black stitches within the hoop. These are part of an object that doesn't fully fit in this hoop. Hatch can split objects if there's no other way around it, and we would do that with the Add Splitting Line tool. We'll save that for another video. To let Hatch figure everything out for you, click on the next tool down, which is Automatically Add Hoops. Hatch looks at the design and works out how to get the objects in the hoop with the minimum number of hoopings. Click OK on the dialog box. I'll zoom out a bit and you can see how Hatch has figured that out. Next we'll choose Preview Hoopings. A new docker opens and shows each of the hoopings. And we can scroll down and look at each one. Notice they have arrows to show you which direction is up for the hoop. The next step is to calculate hoopings. This step calculates the hoopings that will result from the current layout. Click OK and next we'll select on multi-hooping options. You want to be sure that you have add registration marks on output. And we can select a size. I'll go with medium. Notice how we're just stepping our way down this toolbox? Now we're going to move down to the Output Toolbox. We want to do a Save As, and we'll give our design a name. I'll just call it Multi-Hooping 2. Save it. You want to be sure to save this working file of your design to an EMB, just in case we need to come back and modify it in the future. Maybe you get a new machine next year and you want to sew this design and now you have a slightly bigger hoop. Still not big enough for this design, but you might get by with fewer hoopings. So now we're ready to export for our design. In the Output Design Toolbox, we'll step down one level and choose Export Design. And I'll tell it I want it for my little brother machine, which is PES. Click Save. And now it's building all of those files. Here we can check each hooping in this docker. And we have some instructions here. And when you're ready to save, you can either save selected or just save all now. And all our hooping files were saved. So the hoopings are named as files with the chosen file extension and a sequence number so it makes it easy to sew them in the correct order. And we'll click Close to return to our previous window. If we go back to multi-hooping, there are more options on here. You can still manually work out your hoopings, and there are more options here that we'll save for another time. You can find more details on multi-hooping in the manual. Also, take advantage of the F1 key to get more help on a specific tool. Splitting designs while maintaining layering and design integrity is a complicated business. Having the software do it is very helpful. 
The final stitch result you get will be based on how accurately you can hoop.